It's Monday, July 7th, 2008. I'm James Kotecki. Welcome to the show. Loyal viewers of this show and news junkies in general will recall John McCain's speech from a few months ago about all the magical things that would happen after four years of his administration. You know, by 2013, the Iraq war is essentially over. Osama bin Laden is captured or killed. The U.S. is becoming independent of foreign oil. There's a lake of stew and whiskey, too, which you can paddle all around in a big canoe. But today, McCain is expected to add yet another first-term goal, balancing the budget by 2013. According to a policy paper, the McCain administration would restore all savings from victory in the Iraq and Afghanistan operations in the fight against Islamic extremists for reducing the deficit. Since all their costs were financed with deficit spending, all their savings must go to deficit reduction. Oh, I see, so we were spending money we didn't have in Iraq and Afghanistan, after those conflicts are over, which shouldn't take too long, we can take that borrowed money and use it to pay off our debts. That should balance the budget in no time. But the future McCain administration isn't the only group with money issues. The Democratic Convention in Denver is a little short on cash right now. They're about $6 million over budget. The New York Times reports that a few of the cost-cutting measures considered included housing the media center in trailers or cutting out air conditioning from the media tent. Now, so far, those proposals have been rejected, but let's not take any chances. Democratic donors, please get it in gear unless you want the distinction of having the most sweat-drenched convention coverage in modern history. Meanwhile, Barack Obama is set to break with tradition and accept his party's nomination outside the Pepsi Center Convention Hall at Invesco Field at Mile High. That should help bring the price down. Finally, speaking of conventions, President George W. Bush is scheduled to speak at the first night of the Republican gathering in St. Paul. Now, given his low poll numbers, it's a safe bet that few are totally enthusiastic about him being there. But here's a tip for you GOP convention planners. The elite liberal media will be a lot more forgiving in their coverage as long as they have air conditioning. Are you listening, Democrats? Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash Kotecki to let the good times roll. And don't worry, I may borrow $5 from you, but I'll just pay it back with $5 I borrowed from you, and then I'll pocket the savings right here on Kotecki TV. This is rowing, apparently. This is, this is what it means to paddle a boat.